Hello everybody, John Craig here with Performance Plus Tennis. In today's lesson, I've got a great tip and a great concept for you that I learned from the legendary Robert Lansdorp, who lost his life yesterday. And he was a great coach, coached more number one players, Tracy Austin, Pete Sampras, Lindsey Davenport, Maria Sharapova, and many others into high rankings in the world. And a very famous coach back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And this is one tip I learned from him, and it's really gonna help you with your ground stroke performance. So Robert was a great coach for teaching ground strokes, and he was very much a proponent for hitting hard, deep, flat ground strokes. And he really hated what he called the rally ball or the academy ball, which was the more moon ball. He called anything that had a heavy spin on it and a lot of height over that, he called that the academy ball because everybody in the academies were teaching that. So if you knew Robert, he was pretty rough at times and he was pretty rough on the coaching industry, but he was very much in favor of hitting hard driving flat balls, which players like Marie Sharapova and Lindsey Davenport and Tracy Austin were hitting. Pete was a little more spinny, but his forehand was quite flat. So one of the drills that he did was, was called the extension drill. And, and basically it's very simple. And when you're coming onto the ball and you're coming in, he, he wanted you to really extend or drive the ball out. Now, of course, if you make contact here, by the time you get here, the ball's gone. So, but it's the intention to get here to the extension and really drive the ball that really carried it. So you'd accelerate behind the ball, through the ball, and extend and follow the ball out. So oftentimes he would have his players just work on the extension by driving the ball, but not going past the extension, okay? And it really helps you to do a couple of things. It helps you to really activate the shoulder in your swing. And it also teaches you where and how to accelerate in the swing to get the ball to carry. So one of the common questions I ask students is if I, if I don't follow through all the way and I stop here, will the ball even go over the net? And oftentimes the, my students will say, no, it won't go anywhere because you didn't follow through. But the reality is, is that once I get past the contact point, the ball doesn't know what I do or don't do. So once I get here, the ball's technically gone anyway. So why don't we stop here? Because it's unnatural to sort of stop your swing and introduce tension and so forth. But the skill of being able to extend and drive is a good one. Look how far the racket went. So I came up with a term recently, it's kind of simple. It's extend before you bend. So if you're about practicing your ground strokes, feel like you extend before you bend. And that principle holds true on your two-handed backhand as well. Extend before you bend. And if you look closely at virtually all the pros are hitting really good two-handed backhands and forehands, you're gonna see that extension. The exception is with a Western grip. And with a Western grip, you're not gonna see that because if you have a Western grip and you try to extend on contact, you're never gonna get there. And Robert hated Western grips, by the way. He never had a player that used a Western grip because it didn't allow for the drive and extension that he was looking for, which made his players so effective. The one-handed backhand, though, is gonna be a little different because naturally, you're never really gonna bend. It would never work. So the one-handed backhand is an extend all the way through. There's really no bend in the elbow at the end like there is on a two-hander or a forehand. So, Take this concept out of the courts, work on it and see if you can get some nice drive and some nice extension in your ground strokes. And that will give your ball more pace, more depth, more penetration in the court and keep you in a more offensive position from the baseline. I hope you really enjoyed this video from one of the legendary coaches that really coached in the game and really helped so many players. So go to the court, work on your drive, work on your extension, and that'll activate your shoulder, really get you to drive that ball out and also teach you where to accelerate on the stroke to really optimize your ball performance. Please give us a like, leave your comments down below, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Stick around, we've got a lot more coming here at Performance Plus Tennis. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next lesson.